TV KPM. Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? Assalamualaikum, my name is Nisa K and I'll be your host for today's episode of Road to Success SPM 2021 on DDT TV KPM. So how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great and feeling good and must always comply to the SOP set by, set by the government by wearing face masks in the public area, maintain the physical distance of at least one meter and always wash your hands using water and soap and always bring sanitizer with the you in your bag so you can use it when you need it so for today's subject is my favorite subject where i think the teacher will bring me shopping but before that let's introduce our teacher let's see her profile Okay, everybody, let's welcome teacher Sim to the cell. How are you? Hi. 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 Good, everyone. Let's introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, <laughs> my name is uh, Sim Chayant, the English teacher from SMJK Yukon. And I saw one of uh, part of the Teach for Malaysia alumni cohort 2014. All right, yeah. sounds great. But before that, I mentioned just now that you will bring me shopping. Is it true? Yes, yes. Yes, we're going to <laughs> shop. Right. But as we are complying to the SOP right now, we must maintain the physical distance. But if yes. that uh, is like uh, a really a hassle to you, you can just uh, shop online, right? right so, but before true. that, I would like to invite you to my table over oh, there. Yeah, sure. This is a very sacred table where we will be doing our SOP. We okay. here, we have been, um, we are co uh, comparing, but <laughs> <laughs> we are here, we we in a physical, uh, safe physical distance of one yeah. meter. I think this is more than one meter. And if you need to take off your mask, okay, okay teacher. When you need to take off your mask, don't forget to keep it safely in a case like this. Oh, you also have the yeah. case like mine, but you are in pink. Mine in, in white, but it's okay. You can also keep your mask in your pocket or in a plastic pocket and always bring extra pieces in your bag in case it gets dirty. So you have to change to a new one. Okay, teacher, our today's topic is English uh, Form 4, uh, Chapter 3. Yes. All right, so can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to learn today? Um, uh, actually, today is a revision for mm -hmm. Form 4 syllabus. Okay. So we are going to touch on Module 3 and with the topic Buy It, which mm -hmm. is uh, about shopping and the shopping habits and all this. Shopping habits, uh, yeah. I feel guilty. I already <laughs> feel guilty. But before that, we have a special video uh, okay. of our candidates SPM 2021 about this subject. Let's see their video. Didik TV KPM English is important because it makes it easier for me to read and understand the reference materials or any post on social media that is using English language. Also, if I'm good in English, I will feel more confident to speak with people such as English teacher, pen pal or even tourists that visiting our country. I think the English language is important for me because technically, I can read any books in English. It's awesome when we can get fluent in English and it's also fun to learn English. It's become a second language in other countries. It can help connect us in a global world and open a lot of opportunities in finding a job. Didik TV KPM our friends, they are all candidates of SPM 2021. They said that English is fun. I mean, <laughs> I, I do think English is fun because this is my favorite subject, obviously. And I really hope that all of our students mm -hmm. uh, at home or who will be with us uh, Later, this, yeah. okay. I think uh, English is uh, fun to learn, and it, it is not actually hard to learn English, right? It's not very really hard. It's not really hard. But what will you say to students who say that English is very hard? It's so hard for mm. me to actually speak English, even though the basic one. I think that you need more practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's more practices, and then listens to more um, the video clips or the mm -hmm. audios and the broadcasts and so forth. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so just now teacher Sim has mentioned that we are going to learn about chapter 3. Yes. Can you tell us what is chapter 3? 
in form for syllabus. Okay, so like for today, mm -hmm. what I'm going to touch on is actually for focusing on the speaking skill. Mm -hmm. So this chapter, they will talk a lot about uh, shopping okay. and then the shopping habits and also we will learn how to uh, differentiate between two different places mm -hmm. maybe or uh, try to compare and contrast about the advantages mm -hmm. and the disadvantages. Yeah. Okay, talking about shopping habits, I really think that this episode will definitely exposing my <laughs> bad shopping habit. <laughs> I, I hope it's not, it's don't, not don't as worry. bad I as also, bad as I also I think. love shopping. <laughs> yeah, we all love shopping and it has become a, a new, new normal, I think, for people to actually stay at home and shop online. Especially yeah. when there are a lot of shopping apps on our yeah. devices. But before we start our lesson, I would like to uh, invite you to, to use the hand sanitizer. Okay. All oh, right. That's a lot. This is the new norm where we have to always bring hand sanitizers, right, right. keep our physical distance, wear a mask in the public area, and to keep safe, you can just stay at home mm. if you have nothing to actually, you know, you, you don't have to go and window shopping. We can always window shopping through your Online. devices yeah. at home. So before we start, we will take a break for a little bit and after that, we will invite some of our friends to be with us in this episode. I'll see you guys after this. Didik TV KPM Didik TV KPM You guys are still watching Road to Success SPM 2021. Still with me Nisa K and our teacher here, Teacher Sim from SMJK, Yoke Kuasa Kinchan Selangor. Just now we have seen the digital card that we received from a student from all over Malaysia but these are the physical cards that we receive and I am very interested in this one. This is a very special pencil because it contains the greetings for the teachers all over Malaysia. Oh, that's quite a lot. This is from P. Dai Vigan from SMJ, SJKT Rawang. Thank you, Dai Vigan. Uh, I will read a little bit of the long greetings that we have here. This is, oh, this is actually Pantone. Bunga cengkeh, bunga matahari, harum wangi di ruang tamu. Usahamu gigih setiap hari, mendidik kami tanpa jemu. Thank you so much, Adik Dai Vigan. That's quite um, a few phrases of Pantun, but I just read the first one. Thank you so much. This is the greetings to all teachers uh, in Malaysia because I I understand that we have been facing a uh, a lot of like challenges due to the pandemic right. and we also have a digital card to share here we can see on your tv screen we receive a greetings card from our friend uh, this is a very colorful and cute drawings selamat hari guru hashtag terima kasih cikgu and just like last year our to, our this year's team is berguru demi ilmu bina generasi baharu teacher sim i have a question yeah. regarding teachers day we know that last year we do not have we did we didn't do the the celebration right. what do you expect for for this year's celebration um i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i i know it's difficult to say You're now right. that we are seeing some uh, the, rises on on the cases of covid 19 so please take care of, your, of yourself by complying to the sop okay i mentioned earlier that i am not alone if I am I'm, if I am going to get exposed on this episode, so do our friends over here. So let's welcome our friends from SMJK York Kuala Kinchan Selangor. Hi everybody. Hello. You can actually turn on your mic. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Okay. I will ask uh, one by one. Uh, to introduce yourself, can we start with Adeline? Kindly introduce Hi, yourself. Everyone. Hi. Hi everyone, I'm Adeline Lee Sugi and you can call me Adeline. I'm happy to be here at... Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Jue, you next. <laughs> Hello everyone, nice to meet you all. My name is Wang Shue, you can also call me at Shue. Alright Shue, thank you. Yao Tan, you next. Um, hi everyone, my name Hello. is Sen Yao and I'm very happy to be a part of this episode of The Dead TV KPN. Thank you. Oh, your name is Sen Yao. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, we have Xin Yi Pua. Kindly introduce yourself. Hi everyone, Hello. my name is Pua Xin Yi and you can address me as Xin Yi. Okay, Xin Yi, thank you. We have 
Pua Ji Chang. Good afternoon and nice to meet you all. My name is Pua Ji Chang. You can call me Pua or Ji Chang. All right, Ji Chang. Last but not least, uh, Jin Da Pua. Hello, everyone. My name is Pua Jin Da, and I'm so grateful to be here today. Are you guys siblings with a Jinny? No? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. All right, so are you guys ready for today's lesson? If you guys are ready, give me a double thumbs up. Yay, everybody's ready. So I guess the teacher's ready. So yeah. let's proceed with our lesson. Okay. All right, so for today, okay. Today is actually a revision, like I said before. Um, it's a revision for Form 4 syllabus. So we are going to focus on uh, this speaking skill. As uh, for information, speaking is also part of the assessment for the new CASSM uh, SPM 2021. So by hook or by crook, students have to learn how to speak English fluently, right? So let's look at the team, right? The team of the lessons today will focus on consumer reason and uh, financial awareness. And for the language focus, we are going to focus on giving opinions, comparing and contrasting, as well as some words or phrases related to shopping. And for the reference, you can refer to the Form 4 textbook, Full Blast Plus 4, which is also in page 37 and page 42. So now let's move on to learning objectives. So for today, we are going to cover three main learning objectives. Hopefully, students can achieve it by the end of the lessons. So for the first one, Okay, so the first one, we are going to talk about shopping and shopping habits. Mm -hmm. There are a few different types of shopping habits. And for the second one, we are going to learn how to express our opinions or preference based on um, our own uh, preference. For example, uh, let's say if uh, you think this will be better for you, then maybe mm -hmm. that will be your preference, right? And number three, we are going to make a decision by comparing and contrasting the similarities and differences. Yeah. So next, okay, this will be the page, page 37, that if you have your Form 4 textbook with you, mm -hmm. okay, you can see it. And we have a few dialogues here, and you can see the words in bold as well. So later on, we are going to talk more about the shopping habits. But before we move on to the shopping habits, I'm going to talk a little bit about the words in bold. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the words in bold. Going to have shop around, shopping spree, shop see you drop, shopping therapy, window shopping, the shopping, online shopping, and the last one is shopaholic. Do you know the meanings of each of these words? Like for example, the first one, shop around. We, we know that shop around means you will shop from one store to another sh store, right? Yes. Yeah, shop around. So how about shopping spree, right? What, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. the, um, maybe my students, yes. one of them can answer these questions. Would you like um, to try like, uh, yeah, I what like does it mean? Volunteer. Okay, Seng Yao. Okay, Seng Yao. Uh, shopping spree means buying a lot of things or doing a lot of shopping within, within a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. If even a short period of time, then you shop a lot, right? Yeah, true. Thank yeah, how you. about the, the next one? Shop still you drop. Who Anyone knows the like definition? Yeah. Who can... Me. Okay. Okay, yes. okay Zichang. Um, I think it means that shopping until you are tired and no energy to do it anymore. Yeah, uh. right. Then... Uh, you are very tired, yeah. you feel like you, are, you, need, you want to drop your stuff already, right? Yeah. Why is that sound so dangerous? <laughs> so dangerous. <laughs> okay, yeah, shop still drop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Zichang. Okay, so next, shopping therapy. Adeline, would you like to try, Adeline? Okay. Shopping therapy means when you feel stressed or depressed, mm -hmm. you will go shopping to release your tension. Yes. Yeah, to Guilty release as the tension. Right. Guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. How about next one? Window shopping. How about the guys? Window shopping? You can I try? Uh, yes. Can I try? Yeah, sure. Uh, for me, I think window shopping means that um, someone go to shopping, mm -hmm. go to shop without buying anything or spending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. without my buying anything, right? Yes. Yes, yes that is true. 
Okay, and for the next one, the shopping. Okay, I will just explain this, this one. Mm -hmm. So the shopping is actually the products or the things that you have bought after mm -hmm. shopping. Okay, from the shopping. So how about the next one, online shopping? This online one I think shopping. is very easy, right? Online yes. shopping. Anyone want to try? Joey? I try. Yes. Okay. yes. In my opinion, I think that online shopping is mean shop online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just shop over the internet, right? Yes. Shop online. Mm -hmm. Yes. How about the last one, shopaholic? Uh, I can try. Okay. Yeah. Finny? Uh, I think it's uh, someone who is addicted to shopping. Addicted, addicted to, to shopping. shopping. Yeah. Another category of dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so, do, do you think you're a shopaholic? Mm, I don't think Misha? I'm a shopaholic, <laughs> uh -huh. but I definitely done a little bit window, a, a lot of window shopping and a little, a little bit of shop around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, move on to look at the definitions. Mm. Okay, so like just now, shop around means you comparing the price and quality of the products being sold at the different store. Mm. Then only you decide what you want to buy, right? For the second one, shopping spree means doing a lot of shopping within a short period of time. And the third one, we have shops till you drop, shopping until you are too tired to continue doing it, mm -hmm. right? Next, we have shopping therapy, believing that shopping will definitely make you feel much better. Isn't it, teacher? I, I think, yeah, it sounds a little bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. So for window shopping, it means browsing at the goods without buying anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one, the shopping, the things that you have bought from shopping. And then we have online shopping, which means buying goods or services over the internet. And uh, the last one, the shopaholics, means someone who is addicted to shopping and cannot stop from buying things. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Teacher, I have a question. Yeah? How do we categorize uh, those who shop until they don't have money anymore? Like to the last cent of their money? Shopaholic? Shopaholic, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> but maybe, yeah, right? Yeah. Or those who really are craving for shopping, right? Mm -hmm. right? Okay, so let's do a little warm up before the real speaking practice. Mm -hmm. So what kind of shopper do you think you are? Like what kind of shopper are you? Mm -hmm. You can use the words uh, like just now we have learned before, mm -hmm. like uh, from the previous slide, okay, this one um, to help you. So maybe we can start with the students first? Yes, yeah, sure. So what kind of uh, shoppers do you think you who are? Who like to go first? Who would like to go first? Sini? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I guess that I am a hasteyer. I will Hester. shop around many store. Uh, yes. I will shop around many store uh, when I have targeted something to buy. Mm -hmm. And I usually hesitate around the checkout line too. So she means that she will hesitate a lot before she buy anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. How about the next students? Can I try? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Actually, I think I'm a person who likes window shopping. Okay. Okay. This is because window shopping is one of the things I can definitely do even if I have no money. A simple <laughs> walk in the mall, carefully observe each brand or store, not need to worry about my budget at all. Ah, oh, that means he doesn't need to worry yes. about his budget. Yes, we do this a lot when we have no money. But once we have the money, we definitely know what what to buy. Yeah, okay. because we already know the location of the the store, which store that we yes. want to buy. Okay. okay. Next, who would like to share what kind of shopper are you? I will have to Adeline. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As for me, I usually go window shopping too. Instead of buying, this is because I don't want to waste my money and also increase the financial burden of my parents. Mm. Thus, window shopping will be more ideal for me if I would like to go shopping. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay, window thank you, shopping. Adeline. Thank you. Uh, okay, right. next. Next. Anyone else would, would like to, to share? Yeah, I would like to try. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I feel like I'm more of an online shopper because mm -hmm. I can purchase a wide variety of products with just a few taps. This mm -hmm. is especially crucial in our country, especially during the time of COVID-19 pandemic. That's yes, true. we can yeah. be best friends, Seng Yao, because <laughs> I do a lot of online shopping <laughs> as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, do we have um, another? Who else? Who else want to try? Okay, Ji Chiang. 
Um, I prefer online shopping. Oh, mm. online shopping as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like to shop at shopping mall or market because I think it's really wasting my time. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Apart from that, only online shopping is more convenient compared to shopping at the mall. Alright, oh. thank you, Jicha. Yeah. You can be my other best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Love online shopping, yes. right? Now yeah, it's very online convenient. Shopping again. <laughs> okay, who else? Who else would like to try? Oh, I'm the last, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Zenda? So, well, for me, I personally prefer online shopping as well because I can buy almost everything without leaving my home, mm -hmm. and which is more time saving for me. Mm -hmm. And I can also browse for the items that I'm looking for or trying to buy from different sellers just at one place. Okay. We will make it more convenient. And what I need to do is just a few clicks and taps. Okay, okay, I good. definitely Very agree good. with uh, most of the students who choose online right. shopping because it's time saving and it is safe because we just stay at home. Right. But we can see the numbers of the parcels arriving at home. It's quite worrying, I guess. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so very good. So, um, Nisla, what yeah. kind of shopper do you think you are? Okay, other than online shopper, I do shop around because I love comparing the same items. I know uh -huh. different shops carry the same items, so right. I would like to uh, I, I like to compare the prices, the discounts, and maybe uh -huh. one of the shops actually are having like massive discounts, so I can actually save a, li a lot more money uh, from there. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Shop around and yeah. online shopping. On shop around and online shopping. Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah, for. For me, I personally think that I will be more towards like shopping therapy, right? Mm -hmm. Because um, sometimes when I feel very stressful, right, I will tend to like shop, not need to buy, right? Mm -hmm. Not necess not necessarily have to buy a lot of things, mm -hmm. yeah. Just walk around, and then I think I just want to feel the environment of that shopping at the shopping yes. mall there, yeah, right? Yes. Okay. But I, I beg to differ. Well, suddenly this has becoming a debate. <laughs> you know, just this uh, okay, okay. opinion of yeah. mine, where I do think uh, I, I think that uh, it, 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 is it really makes um, you feel better when you buy something? Because I will definitely feel a lot of, uh, more stress out mm -hmm, after mm -hmm. my money gone. Oh yeah, <laughs> that like I say uh, just now, it's not mm -hmm. necessary have to buy things. Mm -hmm. You can just walk around and look at those things. Like maybe because I love like those beautiful items there yeah. display on the mm -hmm. you know on the sh store there. So just walk and then look at them that feel better. Maybe at that moment mm -hmm. I don't need to think a lot. Uh, yeah, so okay. that is the time that I feel relaxed. Oh, of course, if I mean. have money, then I have lots of money, then if I can buy, <laughs> then it will be even better, right? Yeah, yeah. all right. Okay, so let's move on to our next slide. All right. Okay, so the next slide will be okay. carry on later. Mm -hmm. So um, the students are going to have two practices, mm -hmm. the speaking practices. For the first practice, what they have to do is they are going to compare between mm -hmm. two different places. One is the shopping center and another is the open air market. Mm -hmm. So they have to make comparisons between the similarities and differences and they have to talk about um, what, uh, what do they think of uh, shopping at these two places. Okay, before yeah. we go to the first the speaking practice, uh, just now we have seen the categories of the shopper that yes. teacher seem listed. And yes. I would like to remind all, all of you guys, even though we are staying at home, we have nothing to do other than browsing the internet through our devices. Please do not shop excessively. We must <laughs> always save our money for future. We never know what will happen next. And yes. we must always keep ourselves safe by staying at home and yeah you can shop it's your money by the way but uh, kindly do not do it excessively because we do not uh, uh, we do not want to waste uh, any more money on that okay so i think the students will need a little bit time to prepare for the first speaking practice and we'll take a break uh, i'll see you guys after this yes. dd tv kpm you guys are still watching Road to Success SPM 2021. Our subject for today's episode is English and we are talking a little bit about shopping. Okay, yeah. we are going to the first speaking practice. Let's proceed to our lesson, Teacher Sim. All right. Okay, so for the first uh, practice, okay, as you can see here, there are two pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, One is the shopping center. 
and another one is an open air market. Okay, you can find these pictures in your textbook, which is also in page uh, 42, right? Okay, so for students, okay, you can use some of the ideas here mm -hmm. for example like you can talk you can compare in between the locations okay you can also talk about the weather whether um, their business will be affected by the weather or not and then the variety and the quality of the goods the products that they sell um, that they sell and then the price and also the services that they provide okay and and also you can use the words or phrases down mm -hmm. here Okay, so for example, like the convenient or inconvenience for shoppers, whether it's inconvenient or convenience, and then the variety of the products, like I say, whether it is lack of the uh, variety or they have a wide range of the products to choose from. And then we can, you can talk about handmade goods or some fashionable products. You can talk about um, whether it's practical or not, the store, the street vendor, and also about the staff, okay? Whether the staff is friendly or whether it is helpful or not, okay? You can pass on all these uh, words or phrases to guide you, right? Oh, it is okay. all in the textbook. All these are provided in the textbook, okay? So, yep. Anyone would like to try for the first one? So, um, maybe one of you, uh, each of you, can talk about one similarity and uh, two differences between these two places. Okay, mm -hmm. so who would like to start first for this? I want to start first. Okay, okay. Zichang. Zichang, good. Um, I think the similarity is both places sell a variety of goods, food and drink. Mm -hmm. um, we can easily find different types of things in both places. Mm -hmm. okay. um, for the differences, the yeah. uh, first one is the surrounding of the shopping center is usually cleaner than mm -hmm. the surrounding of open air market. Mm -hmm. Besides, most of the vendors at shopping center provide customers with after sale service, but open air market vendors do not have such service after sales. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you, you so Zichang. much. So she mentions about the after sale. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Normally for the shopping mall, they provide this kind of service. Okay, how about the next students? The, who would like, like to, to go next? This? Yeah, I would like to try. Okay, okay. Adeline. Adeline? Yes, Adeline. Hi. Both shopping center and open air market provide us a place where we can spend our leisure time. Mm -hmm. We can go there for a stroll after a stressful day. Mm -hmm. And it's better than spending our time on social media and internet for the whole day. Mm -hmm. right. When we talk about the differences, mm -hmm. when we talk about the differences, Shopping centers are usually huge and consist of many shops which are found indoors, whereas the open air market consists of stores owned by street vendors which are found outdoors. This means that sometimes the bad weather condition may affect the may stop the shoppers from going to the market. Mm, regarding location, it depends. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the parking facilities, mm -hmm. the parking lots which provided in shopping center are limited and we may need to pay for a rather high fee according to the parking rate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, open air market does not focus much on the on the parking space and we can park anywhere nearby with the condition that it's legal. Plus it is free of charge. Mm -hmm. That's okay. all for me. All right, good, very good. good. So she mentions about the weather, weather? and so the parking, right? The yes. parking lots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. How about the next students? Guys? Or anyone want to try? I want to try. Oh, okay, okay Um, I think one of the similarities between two places is both of them have practical store. That means that we can try all the product in the store and avoid buying something that are not suitable for us. Mm -hmm. And for a difference, I think a shopping center usually sell some fashionable and trendy products. While at open air markets, shoppers are able to find some local and handmade products which mm -hmm. are quite unique as well. Mm -hmm. So then when it comes to quality, right. we can al right. yes, we can almost say that the products selling in the shopping center are almost branded and mm -hmm. genuine. Mm -hmm. But at open markets, the quality of the products are not always quality and 
but we still can find some good bargains there. Mm, okay. so, good bargains. I like good bargains. that. Thank yeah. you, Jinyi. All right, very good. How about mm. the opinions from the guys, from boys, right? Come on, guys. Okay, Shui. Oh, like Shui. Okay. So, Shui. Uh, yes. For the similarities, mm -hmm. I think Bob Shopping Central and Upper Air Market are public places. Mm -hmm. Not need any entrance fee for entrance it, and fee. it allows everyone yeah. to shop there. Mm -hmm. No limitation of edge. Mm -hmm. For the differences, I think the shopping centre give a better shopping experience for me and allow me to get what I need under one roof. However, the environment of open air market is usually very crowded. There are too many people shopping at one limited space, which sometimes lead to poor shopping experience. For the second one, the, shop, the open air market allows me to have a better bargain. I can buy a lot of products at a lower price compared to buying a at the shopping centre that have already had a big price list. Okay, good. All right, very good. Okay, then um, he, he also talked about it's very crowded yes. for him, right? Open air markets a bit crowded. Okay, so let's look at the next slide. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is uh, for the second practice. Okay? okay, so for the second practice, Okay, imagine that you are going to buy a t-shirt for your friend. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's your friend's birthday, okay? It's a birthday gift or maybe it's a thank you gift. Mm -hmm. So you come across these two advertisements, the first and the second ones. One is from uh, TS Mania and the second one is from Magic Department Store. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you have come across these two advertisements and you're going to compare them and and decide okay which ones would you like to buy the t-shirts from right okay so if you look at this right the ts mania you have the lots of funny crazy cool t-shirts to choose from okay you can also create your own designs only 30 ringgit each and this week they have the promotions three for the price of two okay but then it's stated there no refunds or exchanges mm -hmm. for the second one the magic department store it opens uh, seven days a week. And then they have clothes, gadgets, appliances. Okay, You can also check out their website for best deals. Okay, They have this 30% discount on all the t-shirts with this coupon. That means you need to cut it off. All right. So let's see. You can talk about this okay, by comparing the variety of the designs. Okay, You can look at the price. You can also check whether the t-shirt can be exchanged or not. And students, you can also use the phrases below. For example, like, uh, in my opinions, okay, what do you think about it? And then the next one is, I think, okay, maybe which store would be, be better, the most suitable place for you because of what, right? And the next one, you can also um, reject it by saying that maybe it mm -hmm. doesn't seem to offer you what kind of uh, uh, promotions that you would like to, okay? For... Uh, this one, okay, the advertisement, you can also talk about the ability um, to check online. You can talk about the price and how convenient it is to shop there. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can also use some of the phrases here to guide you to connect your points. Like for example, I believe, okay, which store is better because, okay, maybe I wouldn't be able, uh, I wouldn't have to do what, right? And perhaps we could, and the last one would be like from my point of view. This is just uh, the suggestions, okay? You may need it or you may not using it, mm -hmm. but it can be a reference for you when you want to speak, right? Okay, to uh, give your opinions and your preference. All right, so yeah, this is the practice. Do we need to give them some time? Yeah, maybe uh... two minutes break or one minute break? Um, just to let them think and connect their ideas together. Yes, sure. So Definitely. Maybe you can they give them one minute to think about it yes. before they start talking, mm -hmm. right? We, de we, we definitely can, can give them a, a, a little bit of time. Uh, one minute. One minute. 60 seconds. Yeah, oh, one minute. Now. Is it okay? Is it okay? <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. to get ready, right? Yeah. 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 Can use the words just now to help mm -hmm. you. Yeah, how about Nisa? If, if, if you are going to buy a t-shirt okay. for a friend, which one do you think you are going to I choose think, from? 
um, from my point of view, I will shop uh, the gift from for my friends from Magic Department Store because uh -huh. of the convenience uh, of checking the stocks or the design online. Yeah. Because nowadays, <laughs> I, I love to stay at home as much as I can. So if they offer uh, a website for me to, to go and browse what design they have, the mm -hmm. availability, mm -hmm. the discounts, I will definitely go for it. Despite that, they have... Uh, discount or not, I think the biggest um, the biggest attraction to me mm -hmm. is the website. To check online, yes, is it? Yes, to check the, the, yeah. The, yeah. the stocks online. And I think some of mm. they say is like to check out our website for best deals. So yes. maybe they have some great deals there yes. that we can grab from, right? Some some online shops are definitely offering uh, more, more discounts if you shop from their official website. Oh, yes. yeah, all right. Okay. Other than you walk into the shopping mall, you mm -hmm. can actually get extra discount if you shop online. So shop smart. Yes. Uh, you can shop, it's your money, but you shop smart. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. So Are you guys ready with your answer? Go back to the students. Okay. Right, ready? All right. Okay. Who would like to answer or share your answer first? Yeah, you may raise your hand. Who's, who? Anyone? We're going to start first with this. Okay. Yes? Who would like to start first? Um, yeah, Ms. Okay. Nguyen would like to start first. Okay. Thank you. I, for me personally, I think TS Mania would be the more suitable place for me because I'm able to design this, the particular t-shirt that I would like to purchase. Oh. But for the clothes and magic department store, mm -hmm. they are all readily made and the design of the t-shirt cannot be customized. Mm -hmm. And the second point is, TS Mania also offers a promotion that lasts for a week in which we can purchase three t-shirts with just the price of two. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I can give one of the t-shirts to my friend and mm -hmm. keep the other two for myself. Oh. However, uh -huh. Magic Department Store only offers a one-time use coupon that gives 30% discount on all t-shirts in the store. I feel like I can get more value out of making a purchase in TS Mania as can as compared to making a purchase in Magic Department Store. Okay, so my thank point. you, Senyo. This right, is what thank we call you so smart. Much. Shop yeah, smart. Yeah, I think, I think he, he likes to buy it from TS Mania. One, yes. one of the points because he likes to design his own yes. t-shirts. Yeah, or maybe design some uh, for her, his friend. a limited friend. edition uh, yeah. t-shirt for yeah, your friend. From, okay. Maybe he wants to write his name on the t-shirt, <laughs> right, as a gift. Okay. okay. All right, next, how about... Next. So okay, Jiwei. In my opinion, I think I would like to choose the Magic Department Store as this yep. store provides mm -hmm. a channel which is its own website to let me get the latest information about the deals. Mm -hmm. Besides, another reason that I choose this store is that the TS Mania store does not provide refund or exchange service for their customers. Mm -hmm. I totally cannot exchange the t-shirt if I have made a wrong purchase in size. Oh, okay. okay. So he doesn't like TS Mania because there is no refunds or exchange. Mm. Lisa, do you think this is important? This is actually very important. If uh -huh. you, you, you buy a t-shirt and then you go back home and suddenly, oh, there's actually a, a defect on, on mm -hmm. the product. So we, we, we would like to change, but TS Mania didn't offer that. So, yeah. yeah, we can be friends. Shop <laughs> at Magic Department Store. Okay. All right, next. Okay, will like be the next. Zenda? Okay, Zenda. Okay. Yeah. So, in my opinion, I will buy the suits from Magic Department Store because I can get the offer. Mm -hmm. um, get the offer, but I thought like both advertisements also got offer, right? Mm -hmm. Well, in Magic Department Store, I can get the offer by just buying one search. Mm -hmm. However, I can only get the offer this or discount from TS Mania uh -huh. if okay. I bought more than three search. Mm -hmm. And besides, I don't need to rush to get the promotion because Magic Department Store does offer the coupon without any deadline. Okay. However, for TS Mania, it only has the promotion event for one week. So I need to rush to buy the search within the weeks. And my, I'll, that's why I'll prefer Magic Department Store. All yes. right, another students who prefer Magic Department Store, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's only started here this week, three for the price of two, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe next week it will be a different deal. Yes. Yeah, we never know. It's not fixed. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Yeah, how about from the girls? Any opinions from the girls? Yes. Okay, Xing Okay, Xing Yi. Um, I think TS Mania will be a better place for us to buy a T-shirt. Um, this because mm -hmm. we don't need to bring along the coupon to a store and we can directly enjoy the discount when we purchase something that on the contrary for MacJ department store, mm -hmm. we, if, we, if we forgot to bring the coupon, we can't get a discount as well. So I think it really bring a lot of inconvenience for us. Mm, okay, so from your point of view, you means that because magic department store, you need to bring the coupons with you, like you have to cut it from the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we will lose it, right? Mm -hmm. We we never we don't know where we put it. So for TS Mania, would be a little bit uh, convenient as you no need to bring the coupons with you. All right, yeah, okay. good, very good. Okay, so um, for these two practices, right, like just now and for this one, you already know how to make opinions or preference based on uh, the similarities and differences and also the, uh, the the advantages and the disadvantages. Okay, so let's wrap it up. Mm. For the summary, again, like what we have uh, covered today, okay? So the first ones will be the similarities and differences. The first part where we talk about um, the shopping center mm -hmm. and also the open air markets. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we talk about the similarity between these two places and also the differences between these two places based on the weather, the quality, the price, and everything so on. Okay, and for the second one, okay, we also cover up. Um, how to compare and contrast between two different stores and also two different uh, advertisements. And we talk about the advantages mm -hmm. and disadvantages of these two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you still remember what, what is the <laughs> advantages and disadvantages of the, um, the advertisement just now? The TS yes. Mania. Yes, the advantage is the, the, the Magic Department Store has online website and the yes. coupon can be used anytime. Yeah. But TS Mania only offer a one week promotion, but you can get a lot more a lot more discount and value if you yes. buy more. But there's no, no. refund yeah, if, right. you, you, if yeah. you receive defect right. items. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nisa. Mm. Okay. And then the last one is uh, the students also make their decisions based mm -hmm. on their preference. Okay, like um, we also talk about how to be a smart consumer, right? Yes. We talk okay. about uh, how to be a wise consumer. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, if in, in the exam, uh, the students are, are, are going are given the, the two different situations and mm -hmm. we have seen that the answers given by the students definitely different because they have their own Reasons, preferences, uh, preferences yes. uh, upper, depending on, on what they are, they are seeing on, on the advertisement. Right. How do the students actually uh, get marks from there? Uh, you mean based on their points? Yeah. Normally, uh, if you're mentioning in the writing, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, for, they normally need to have three main points, mm -hmm. three uh, main uh, uh, points for them to write okay. and then they need to have supporting details which means mm -hmm. they need to have their reason a very strong reason mm -hmm. like just now they actually did uh, very well okay. okay they talk about their reason why they choose this and that mm -hmm. and they also give some examples mm -hmm. so I think um, uh, yeah so you need to have the main point and also the supporting details okay. yeah <laughs> I think I need to learn with the students because they are they were so good I just give my 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 reason was uh, because they have online online store which I can just browse online mm -hmm. without having going out. But they give the differences, uh, yes. why they are comparing, how they are comparing these two advertisement and why they are choosing this one particular department store. And you guys are really impressed me. So I guess you guys are all doing great. Give me double thumbs up. Yay! Yay! Or oh, everybody like this. <laughs> Okay, so maybe you, you have uh, some uh, final words to say to our students uh, who are watching us at Didate TV. Oh, um, just two more revisions mm -hmm. and during this uh, pandemic, right? Okay, no need to be afraid of mm -hmm. uh, speaking. Yes. You just need to do more practices. Mm -hmm. Try to speak with your friends, mm -hmm. your family members or uh, even in class. I know like some of the mm -hmm. students, they are afraid to speak in yes. class, right? Mm -hmm. They feel uh, shy or they are afraid of making mistakes. Mm -hmm. But actually, no need to afraid. Right? No need to uh, 
forget about the grammar first. Mm -hmm. The first thing is you just have to open your mouth and yes. tend to speak, okay? Yeah. And uh, with confidence, because mm -hmm. sometimes they don't have the confidence. Yes. Just have to speak with the confidence. If it is wrong or mm -hmm. maybe you pronounce it wrongly, so when someone corrects you, you can learn from the mistake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do not feel uh, attacked or down if someone yes. uh, because correct everyone your, is your learning. pronunciation because yeah. it's part of the learning process. process. Yes, so exactly. uh, as for me, I I do not really confident with my English, but <laughs> I think I need to find the confidence by uh, looking for friends who actually wants to learn the English uh, English with Together. me and we speak English with one another. Yeah. So that's how I even though my English is like all over the place, but it's okay. <laughs> it, Just speak, yes. be confident for us. It would be better if you can use it in your daily conversations. Yes. And yeah. one of the tips that I got from my teacher uh, uh, back then was mm -hmm. uh, you can actually read the children storybooks. The, the, the basic, I uh, use the basic sentences or basic mm -hmm. words because it will help you to start, to actually yeah. start. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, teacher Sim, for Thank today's you. lesson. I I have a very good time here because I feel like even though I feel like I'm exposed, I was exposed <laughs> due to my uh, due to my uh, shopping habit. But uh, make sure that you always uh, think first before you shop anything because we don't we don't want to waste our money. And our friends right. over here already did their part by uh, sharing how they contrasting and comparing uh, from two department store. If you have more than one choices, then you have to compare to choose the best option yes. and the best value uh, for your money. Maybe with a, a, a particular budget, you actually mm -hmm. you actually uh, focusing or targeting on one item, but you can actually get two or three items if you really really compare to get the best deal. Can also and make the a best shopping price. list. Yes. yes, you can make shopping. Make a shopping list. list. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe you can add a little bit more if if they want to shop and compare compare between between uh, a put two different or more shops mm, they can make a shopping list right mm -hmm. you can first make a shopping list like what you would like to buy mm -hmm. and then actually you no need to go for like so many stores mm -hmm. just like a few stores that you are more comfortable with mm -hmm. and then you just check for the price maybe and then the quality of the goods okay, okay. the quality because for me i personally i will uh, stress more on the quality, quality. of the products yes. yeah and then maybe if that store can mm -hmm. give you have a try try that product you can okay. try it on right yeah and then um, anything else Nisa do you think I think um, that's for I think now. That's for now, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we can definitely continue our our conversation about shopping after this. Yes, Thank you so lot. much to those who are watching uh, Road to Success SPM 2021. The subject is English, and thank you to our friends over here from SMJK Yo Kwasa Kinchan Selangor. I hope to see you again, Teacher Steve. Thank I'll you. I'll see you thank guys you so again much. in next program on DD TV uh, KPL. Assalamualaikum. Bye. 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 -bye. Didik TV KPM Harapan saya supaya anak saya berjaya cemerlang dalam perpisahan SPM tahun ini agak mencabar Dalam keadaan masih dalam keadaan COVID Dan saya mengharapkan anak saya bersungguh-sungguh dalam menutup ilmu Dalam menutup ilmu ini perlu mendekatkan diri kepada Allah SWT Perlu kepada solat dengan sempurna Solat secara berjemaah di masjid Begitu juga dengan banyakkan berdoa kepada Allah Ta'ala Begitu juga dengan hubungan dengan guru-guru di sekolah Perlu taat kepada guru-guru Perlu banyak bertanya kepada guru-guru Perlu menyiapkan kerja kursus yang telah diberi oleh guru-guru Saya berharap agar semua calon tahun 2021 dapat cemerlang dan berjaya Sekian terima kasih